Mandy Mouse. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. They are drawing pictures. Children, today we have a visitor. Ooh. Mandy Mouse. Hello, everyone. Squeak. Hello. Hello. Mandy Mouse uses a wheelchair to get around. Mandy is spending the day at our playgroup. If she likes it, she will come every day. See you later, Mandy. Have fun. Bye, Mummy. Hello, Mandy. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, I'm Danny Dog. <coughs> and I'm Susie Sheep. <laughs> We're drawing pictures. I drew the sun. Ooh. I drew a cloud. Ooh. I drew the sky. That's nice. I like drawing aeroplanes. Yeah. Wow. <coughs> That's a really good drawing. Thank you. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> that was fun. Wow, you're fast. All thanks to my wheelchair. <laughs> Why do you have a wheelchair, Mandy? <laughs> because my legs don't work like yours. Can you walk on your legs? No, I have my wheels. <laughs> See, I get around fine. I can do everything. Squeak! <laughs> <laughs> Let's play ball. Yes, please. Squeak! OK, Mandy, you're on my team. <laughs> Susie, you're on my team. <laughs> Gerald, <laughs> Pedro, <laughs> Molly <Squeak>! and Emily. <laughs> The children are in two teams. How do you play this game? The captain takes the ball and throws it over there. No, I know the rules and you're the not one holding the ball. I say you do it this that way. That is the rules because I said so. <laughs> what about the team who gets the ball through the hoop wins? <laughs> OK. And they're off. <laughs> Emily Elephant catches the ball. Now Susie has it. Pass to Pedro. And now to Peppa. Mandy takes the ball. Pass to Danny. To Molly. And up high in the sky. Caught by Mandy Mouse. <laughs> to Gerald Giraffe. <laughs> Goal! Hooray! Mandy, you're good. I know. I'm brilliant. <laughs> Children, playtime is over. <laughs> can I help you? No, I'll be fine. I can do it by myself. I like hills. It is a big hill. Yes, it is a big hill. Maybe if you could help push. OK. Thank you, Peppa. I could do it on my own, but it's easier with two. I'm not used to big hills. Where I lived before, it was all flat. Everything is on a hill around here. My house is on a hill. The supermarket is on a hill. Rebecca Rabbit lives inside a hill. <laughs> it's all hills, hills, hills. <laughs> have we all had fun today, children? Yes! <laughs> the parents have arrived to pick up the children. Ah, is it home time already? Yes, Mandy, it's home time. Hello, my sweet. Mummy! So, Mandy, you came today to see if you liked our playgroup. Yes. And do you like our playgroup? Yes, I love it. And would you like to come every day? Yes, please. Hooray! <laughs> Mandy Mouse loves the playgroup and everyone at playgroup loves Mandy Mouse. <laughs> Mandy Mouse's birthday. Today is Mandy Mouse's birthday. As a special treat, Mandy is going to Cheese World with her friends. Mandy, what is Cheese World? It's the most fun ever. There's a cheese river, a cheese mountain and a cheese sky. Wow! And best of all is the cheese castle, where you get to smell cheese. <laughs> 
You like cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cheese World. Have any of you been here before? Yes, I have. Oh, hello, Mandy. Nice to see you back again. <laughs> <laughs> so, as Mandy already knows, everything at Cheese World is about... Cheese! That's right! And we start by sailing on a river of... Cheese! <laughs> this is the River of Cheese. All aboard! Hold tight, everyone! Miss Rabbit, are the boats made out of real cheese? No, the boats are made out of plastic. Boats made out of real cheese would be bizarre. Ah. The Cheese River flows past hills and trees of cheese. <laughs> this is the Cheese Mountain. Ooh! Is this mountain made out of real cheese? No, but this is exactly what it would be like to sail through a cheese mountain. Oh. If cheese mountains existed. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the cheese aeroplanes. Wow! Now, has anyone flown one of these planes before? I have. Of course. Hi there, Mandy. <laughs> Can you show your friends what to do? Yes. <laughs> if you pull the lever, the plane goes up. Wow! And if you push the lever, the plane goes down. Ooh! All aboard your aeroplanes! <laughs> up, up, and away! <laughs> this is brilliant! <laughs> There's the cheese sun. <laughs> and the clouds are cottage cheese. I can see the whole world. And it's all cheese. Ooh. Was that fun? Yes. yes! Told you it would be the most fun ever. <laughs> Hello, Mandy Mouse. Lovely to see you at Cheese World again. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Have you told your friends about my castle of cheese? I told them the castle of cheese was the best bit. Oh, right. It's where we get to smell real cheese. No pretend cheese here. Ooh. Follow me, if you dare, into my castle of cheese. <laughs> Let's start by smelling a mild cheese. Mmm, that smells good. I like it too. Not much of a smell. <laughs> Now for some decently strong cheese. Ah, that's more like it. A proper stinky one. Ooh, it smells like my daddy's socks. <laughs> and now, boys and girls, we come to the strongest cheese in the whole world. Here goes. <laughs> That's what I call cheese. Mmm, it's the nicest smell I've ever smelt. <laughs> you do so love cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. I like smelling cheese and I like eating cheese even more. <laughs> Funny you should say that because it's time for your birthday cake. And it's a cheesecake! Happy birthday, Mandy! This is my best birthday ever! <laughs> <laughs> Dr Hamster's big present! Pepper and George are taking Goldie the fish to the vets for a checkup. Ahoy there, Pepper and George! Hello, Grumpy Rabbit! What are you doing here? I brought Nigel for his checkup. Nigel is Grumpy Rabbit's pet newt. Hello, Nigel. Make sure your birdie gets lots of rest and it'll be singing like a canary in no time. Oh, music to my ears. Bye. Next, please. That's us, Nigel. Hello, Nigel. Let's have a look at you. He's looking fine. Oh, good. He's getting lots of exercise. 
Oh, I wish I could be more like you, Nigel. I need to get fit and healthy, but I haven't got the time. Why don't you go jogging? It's what I do to keep fit. But I'm too busy here. You can jog while you work. All right, I will. I'll start this minute. Dr Hamster <laughs> is jogging to get fit. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr Hamster. Goodbye, Grumpy Rabbit. Next, please. That's <gasps> us. <gasps> now then, Goldie, how are you? Keeping busy. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Dr Hamster, why are you jumping up and down? I'm jogging to get fit and healthy. The only thing is, I can't jog very far in here. I have to keep stopping to turn around. It's not ideal. Oh. Anyway, keep up the good work, Goldie. And remember to drink plenty of water. Thank you, Dr Hamster. Bye-bye. Bye. Pepper and George are going back home. There's Grumpy Rabbit. <gasps> Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Want a lift? No, thanks. I'm jogging home. Got to keep fit and healthy. Poor Dr Hamster can't get fit. She needs a bigger space to run around in. Hang on. Maybe I could build something. Follow me. This is Grumpy <gasps> Rabbit's boatyard. <gasps> now, let's get building. What are we going to build? A present for Dr Hamster to help her get fit. We'll need these and this. I'm not forgetting this. And a little bit from this washing machine. How can you make a present from this pile of rubbish? It's not rubbish, Mummy Pig. This is an excellent ladder. And so is this one. <laughs> Are you making a roundabout? No. Are you making a paddling pool? No. What do you think it's going to be, George? Dinosaur! No. I just need to wrap it up. Grumpy Rabbit is wrapping the present. Finished! Hooray! It's the biggest present ever! Yes! It's too big to fit in the car. That's all right. We can roll it. Grumpy Rabbit has rolled the present all the way to Dr Hamster's surgery. What's that nice? We've got a present for you, Dr Hamster. Oh, thank you. Hey, I wonder what it is. Why don't you open it and find out? All right. Oh, that's lovely. Eh, uh, what is it exactly? I just need to fix it in place. Get in and jog. All right. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> it's a hamster wheel. Yes, every hamster should have one. Dr Hamster loves hamster wheels. <laughs> Every hamster loves hamster wheels. <laughs> Valentine's Day. It is morning. Peppa and her family are having breakfast. Do you know what today is, Peppa? Is it my birthday? No. Is it your birthday? No, it's Valentine's Day. What's that? On Valentine's Day, you tell the people you love that you love them. Usually with a special card, like this. Happy Valentine's Day, Mummy Pig. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. Roses are red, violets are blue, you are so lovely and I love you. Hugs and kisses, Snufflekins. Oh, I love you too, Daddy Pig. Oh, ho, ho. Mummy, do you have a card for Daddy? <coughs> oh, I gave it to Mr Zebra the Postman. You gave a Valentine's card to Mr Zebra the Postman? Yes, he'll deliver it with the post today. Oh, I see. It is time for playgroup. Mr Bull is cleaning the windows. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Gazelle. Does anybody know what today is? It's window cleaning day. Apart from it being window cleaning day? 
It's Valentine's Day. Very good, Peppa. It is the day to give cards to the people we love. My daddy didn't get one this morning. What? Oh, how oh, sad. I've finished cleaning the windows, Madam Gazelle. Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, dear. You look sad. Oh, I just heard that Daddy Pig did not get a Valentine card. No Valentine's card? No. Goodbye, Mr Bull. Goodbye. Children, today we will all make Valentine's cards for the people we love. Yay! I'm going to make a Valentine's card for my mummy and daddy. I'm making a Valentine's card for my mummy and daddy. <laughs> I'm making a Valentine's card for Super Potato. And one for my mummy and daddy. <laughs> Mr. Bull has gone to the supermarket. Hello, Mr. Bull. You look sad. Well, I heard this morning that Daddy Pig didn't get a Valentine's card. No. Really? Did you hear that, Dr. Hamster? Daddy Pig didn't get a Valentine's card. Ah, oh, poor Pickle. Did you hear? Daddy Pig did not get a Valentine's card. Oh, dear. What was that? Nobody's ever given Daddy Pig a Valentine's card. <gasps> <laughs> Finish, Madame Gazelle. What wonderful cards, children. I am sure whoever gets them will be very happy. <laughs> it is home time. <laughs> mummy, Mummy, we made Valentine's cards for you and Daddy. Oh, lovely. Pepper and George have arrived home. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, Daddy. For me? Yes, Valentine. <laughs> Fantastic. Did you get a card from Mummy yet? No, not yet. Ah, Mr Zebra. Busy day? A very busy day indeed. Look at this sack. Full of Valentine's cards. Have you got a card for me? No, I haven't got a card for you. Oh. I've got a whole sack full. Ooh. There are hundreds of Valentine's cards. <laughs> all for Daddy Pig. Hooray! Daddy Pig, who sent you all these Valentine's cards? Oh, it wasn't you. No, I sent you this one. With love from Mummy Pig. Who sent all the rest? Um... Happy Valentine's Day, Daddy Pig! Everyone has sent Daddy Pig a Valentine's card. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Pepper, George and Mummy Pig love Daddy Pig. Everyone loves Daddy Pig. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's Jetpack. It is a lovely snowy day. Pepper and her family are on a winter walk. What's that noise? It's coming from Grampy Rabbit's boatyard. Here is Grampy Rabbit. Hello, Grampy Rabbit. Hello, Pepper and George. What are you doing? Ah, I've been working on my latest project. Ooh. What is it? Well, I couldn't decide between building a sledge or a jetpack. Oh. But as we've had all this snow, I decided to build a, a sledge. sledge. A jetpack. <laughs> it's my personal flying machine. Wow. wow. That must have been very difficult to build. Uh, not really. It's all about calculating the weight to fuel efficiency ratio. Uh, once you've done that, you just bash it all together with a hammer. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, pure rabbit craftsmanship. Does it fly? Well, I've not tried it yet. Let's find out. Safety harness, check. Fuel, check. Cheese sandwiches, check. Uh, could you hold my lunch for me, please? Is it safe? Yes, it's only cheese and bread. No, I mean the jetpack. Of course it's safe. I built it myself. <laughs> Moments from now, I'll be flying high with nothing to see but the clouds and the sky. The clouds, the sky, the clouds, the sky. How does it work? Easy. I just press this big red button and... 
Well, it definitely works. <laughs> I can see him! Look! Woo! Woo! Oh. <gasps> Grumpy Rabbit has landed on Snowy Mountain! Let's check he's OK. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit speaking. Grumpy Rabbit, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, but my jetpack is broken. We'll rescue you, Grumpy Rabbit. Thank you, Peppa. Let's call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, rescue service. Miss Rabbit, Grumpy Rabbit needs to be rescued. I'll be right there. She'll be right here. Come on up, everybody! Right, to the rescue! Uh, where are we going? To Snowy Mountain. Righty-ho! Trapped on a mountain with just the snow for company. I should have made a sledge after all. Here is Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Saved! I'm saved! Tie this rope around you and we'll carry you home! Ready! Oh! We've run out of fuel! Oh dear! The helicopter has stopped! Do we need rescuing now? Yes! <gasps> if only we had some other way of getting home! <gasps> Grumpy Rabbit is sliding down Snowy Mountain on his jetpack and pulling the helicopter with him. <laughs> Through the trees, down the high street, Hello, sorry, excuse us. across the frozen sea, and back to Grumpy Rabbit's boatyard. <laughs> Yes, it was. Thank you for rescuing me. Actually, Grumpy Rabbit, it was you who rescued us. I suppose I did. I built a jetpack that turned into a sledge. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit loves jetpacks that turn into sledges. Everybody loves jetpacks that turn into sledges. The Panda Twins. Pepper is going to play group with her friends. Peggy and Pandora Panda are coming too for their first day at playgroup. Have a great day, girls! We will, Daddy! Remember to keep your ears and eyes open. Yes, Daddy! <laughs> I will ring you later to let you know how they are getting on. Good morning, children! Good morning, Madame Gazelle! Today, two new pupils are joining our playgroup. Pandora Panda... Hello! ...and... Peggy Panda. Hello, everyone. Hello. Wow, you both look the same. That's because we're identical twins. Identical <laughs> twins look like each other. Do people get you mixed up? Sometimes, but it's OK. We're used to it. Peggy, Pandora, as it is your first time at Playgroup, you may both choose what we do today. Hmm, we like solving mysteries and we like doing puzzles. Mysteries and puzzles. Let me see. Yes, we have a jigsaw puzzle. Hooray! We love jigsaws. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a cloud. And here is the sun. Maybe they fit together. No, they don't fit. Try turning that piece around. Now they fit. Where does this piece go? Hmm. Try putting the blue sky with the blue sky. It fits! <laughs> and the green grass with the green grass. The jigsaw <laughs> is finished. It's a picture of a house on a sunny day. Well done, children. <laughs> that was great teamwork. Are you enjoying your day, Pandora, Peggy? Yes, thank you. We love doing puzzles and solving mysteries. Our daddy is a policeman. Ooh! I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. And they go... Nina, 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 Nina. Yes, yes. Perhaps now is a good time to phone your daddy and let him know how we're getting on. 
Oh, where is my phone? I must have put it down somewhere. Have you lost your phone, Madam Gazelle? Yes, I had it just now. Where can it be? Where did you last see it? If I knew that, Susie, I wouldn't be looking for it, would I? Why don't you always put things in the same place, Madam Gazelle? Then you will know where they are. Well, that is very good advice, Susie. But it is not always possible to put something down in the same place every time. We can help you find it. No, I think it is lost. Oh, what a mystery. Our daddy always says, keep your ears and eyes open. Yes? Well, if we keep our ears open and somebody calls your phone, then we will hear it ringing. And find my phone. Good idea. <laughs> Peggy and Pandora are very good at solving mysteries. So, who here has a phone? Uh, Madame Gazelle, we are little children. Little children do not have mobile phones. Oh, yes, of course. Hello. Hello! The parents have arrived to pick up the children. Good afternoon, mummies and daddies. Could I ask one of you to call my phone, please? I can ring you, Madame Gazelle, but is it not easier to talk to you? I have lost my phone. If you call it, we will hear it ringing. And then you will find your phone. I understand. Brilliant. <laughs> It's in my handbag! It was in your handbag all the time! Yes, sorry about that, everyone. What a clever idea to call your phone to find it. That was Peggy and Pandora's idea. What? You solved the case of the missing phone? Yes! That's my girls! Peggy and Pandora Panda <laughs> love solving mysteries. <laughs> Everybody loves solving mysteries. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are having breakfast at Peppa's house. Mummy, may I have some juice, please? Of course you may, Peppa. Thank you. <sniffs> well, I never. It says here that children today are very rude. Would you like some juice, George? Please. Thank you. It says children have no manners and never say please and thank you. Oh, Peppa and George always say please and thank you, don't you? Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear that because please and thank you are very important words. In fact, they are magic. Magic? Oh, yes. Nice things happen when you say please and thank you. Please, please, please. No, George. You only say please when you ask for something. And you say thank you when someone does something for you. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's time to go to playgroup. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. Thank you. This is Peppa's playgroup. Mr. Bull is cutting the grass. The grass is looking lovely, Mr. Bull. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Let me introduce you to the Being Nice Tree. What does it do? When someone is nice, I put a picture of them in the branches. Ooh! How do we be nice? There are lots of ways to be nice. <coughs> Madame Gazelle, I know some magic words that are nice. Please and thank you. Oh, yes, the magic words. Please tell us about them. If you want something, you need to say please. <coughs> and if somebody gives you something, you say thank you. Very good. Oh, this is something we can all practice with a little game. I will need two children, Susie Sheep <laughs> and Danny Dog. <laughs> now, Susie has an apple. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Very good, Susie. And Danny would like that apple. Yes, I would like that apple. OK, Danny, ask Susie for the apple. Can I have that apple? Yes. Mmm, yummy. Let's try that again. When you ask for something, Danny, you must remember to say the magic word. 
Abracadabra. No. What is the magic word, children? Please. Oh, yes. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Then off you go. Can I have that apple, please? No. Susie. He's already got an apple. This is not about apples. It is about saying please. OK. Here's another apple. And now, Danny? What? The other magic word. Oh, yes. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please Thank you so much for that thing Thank you makes me want to sing Hairs, feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please Thank you so much for that thing Thank you makes me want to sing <laughs> What wonderful singing, children! You will all go on the being nice tree Hooray! <laughs> I finished cutting the grass, Madam Gazelle. Very good, Mr. Bull. Goodbye. Madam Gazelle! What? What is it? You forgot to say thank you. Oh, yes. How rude of me. Thank you, Mr. Bull, for all your hard work. It was my pleasure. And thank you, children, for reminding me to say my please and thank yous. <laughs> Madam Gazelle likes to say please and thank you. Everyone <laughs> likes to say please and thank you. Father's Day. Today is Father's Day. It is the day when everyone thanks their daddy for being their daddy. Ah, what a great day to be a father. Mummy, can me and George play in the garden today? Of course, Pepper. I might do some weeding. Well done, Mummy Pig. This garden could do with a bit of a tidy up. And, uh, what are you going to do today, Daddy Pig? The grass needs cutting. Uh, I think I will just be a father today. Can you be a father and cut the grass? You've all forgotten, haven't you? Forgotten what? It's Father's Day, when daddies get thanks and cards and sometimes cake. Is it like Mother's Day? Sort of, although Mother's Day is a real day and Father's Day is a sort of made-up modern thing. What do you mean? It's exactly like Mother's Day, but for daddies. Poor Daddy, we forgot. Yes, sorry Daddy Pig. What would you most like to do on your special day? Um, could I watch some racing cars on TV? There you go! Fantastic! Daddy Pig loves watching racing cars on TV. <sighs> Pepper, George, it would be really lovely if you made Daddy a Father's Day card. Yes! <laughs> Here is Daddy in the garden. In the long grass. Wonderful. What do you want it to say inside? To you, Daddy. You are the bestest Daddy in the whole world. Well done. Kiss, kiss. Lovely. Hmm. It just needs one more thing. Glitter. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it needs glitter, Pepper. Yes, it does need glitter. Uh, I think the glitter is lost. Found it. Someone has put the glitter high up on top of the fridge. Oh, well done for finding it, Pepper. Ah, this is nice. Happy Daddy's Day! <laughs> oh, what a lovely card. Open it! Ah, glitter! Yes, we used all the glitter. How wonderful. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves glitter. Everyone loves glitter. <laughs> now, let's make a Father's Day cake. What can we put in the cake? <laughs> yes, George. Daddy does like cereal. <laughs> and tomato ketchup. <laughs> I'm not sure Daddy Pig likes ketchup in cake. Daddy does like ketchup. <laughs> Everyone likes tomato ketchup. Cheese! Yes, George. 
Daddy loves cheese. <laughs> oh, oh, what's going on here? <gasps> Daddy, don't look. It's a surprise. You were supposed to be watching racing cars on TV. I thought I would get up and do something. You could always cut the grass. Daddy can't work on Daddy's Day, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. You can give me and George piggyback rides. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's hard work not working. <laughs> now it's time for your tea party. This way, Daddy. <laughs> oh. Would you like some tea? Thank you, Peppa. And is there any cake? Oh, yes, the cake. Here it is, Pepper. But I'm not sure it's the sort of cake that can actually be eaten. Yes, it is. It is the best cake ever. George and me made it all ourselves. Fantastic. I can't wait to try it. Mm -hmm. What's in it? All your favourite things. Mmm, tasty. Did you have a nice day, Daddy? <laughs> yes, Pepper and George. It was super. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves Father's Day. Everybody loves Father's Day.